Well, for more than a century, the Boston Children's Museum has engaged and entertained generations of children with its groundbreaking exhibits. And now a night at the museum is more affordable than ever. WBC's Honorius Rodriguez stopped by the Seaport Staple for this week's Summer of Savings. There's always something to do. Ready? You do it. And learn at the Boston Children's Museum. It's a really nice museum. It's big. Just find the Big Hood milk bottle on a Friday, and a night at the museum will cost you only a dollar bill. Target Dollar Friday night happens every Friday from 5 to 9 p.m. Admission is one dollar for each visitor. That's right. Three stories of hands-on exhibits are open to the public for a dollar every Friday. That's a savings of $16 per person. So it's, you know, something, a good way to save money, like, you know, on summer vacation. Boston Children's Museum has been a staple in the Seaport District for nearly four decades, but its history in Boston dates back a century. Boston Children's Museum was founded in 1913 by science school teachers. We have a great staff, a team who works diligently to make the visitor experience positive. Focusing on themed events has helped the museum attract more families. In fact, this past year, Boston Children's Museum welcomed more than a half a million visitors. I'm from Hong Kong. Marina Chan is a Harvard-educated teacher who lives in China. She says the museum's commitment to play-based learning is why, when she visits Boston, she brings her kids. There's just so much learning and fun and play, and a lot of the um, themes and activities changes over time, so it's never boring for the kids. On Friday, August 11th, the museum will kick off Mini Maker Weekend, where kids can make their clothes and learn about text Styles. On Friday, August 18th, a coin exhibit will allow kids to learn about currency. And the last Friday in August, families can tour this authentic silk merchant's home from Japan. The country gifted the 100-year-old home to the city of Boston in 1979. It was rebuilt at the museum, where it still stands today. I'm Anaritis Rodriguez, WBZ News.